would say you're the. I like your face. Oh, so you don't like my face? No, no, I like your face. Both of you guys are. Both of y'all are attractive. But I would say her face is more attractive to me. But for whatever reason, I like taller women. So like your height helps. Okay, okay. So her face is better. But if you say, I like your height, your body. But you're not an ugly woman. No, your body face. Your body face. What my? But my face, but my face is not right. I can tell from this brief clip, and there's still more to go, that that particular friend who is questioning whether he likes her face or not is not used to getting passed on for the other friend. Y'all get where I'm going? Throughout their friendship, I'm pretty sure she's the one that's used to getting the attention from men. So by him saying that out loud, you're not supposed to say that out loud, my brother, but by him saying that out loud, Call her off guard. She about to get in defense mode. Hey, no, your face is good. I say hers is a little better. Like, I, I, you know what I meant. If you saw us one, you might have to be Yeah. Probably. Hey, so, you're single? Am I single? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna move now. You asked that question for a reason. For someone that's considering living or moving out here, what would you say was like your selling point? My selling like, point? Yeah. I want to sell you? Yeah. Me. Just like that? Oh my God, he's in his bag. Face card out. One, you almost created a civil war. But two, the fact that you chose her over her friend, you open her up right there. Her friend wasn't used to that, and she wasn't used to that neither. Ideally, if you could choose your partner's income, what would you like want it to be? Millions. No, not millions. I want millions. If he's making millions, he's looking somewhere else. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that's that's on to you to keep them. So you believe that if a guy is making millions, he won't be loyal? No, he, it's not going to be loyal. Would you be okay with your husband making millions, but he has, like, side women? I feel like if he's making millions, he won't have side women. Because he'll be busy making no. the million. I don't feel as though she has what it takes to keep a millionaire intrigued. I'm just be honest with you. I'm judging the book box cover. I know you're not supposed to do that. You probably still giving 1982. Hey, you probably don't even know how to <laughs> saddle up no Johnson and Johnson. Okay, you probably can't saddle up that Johnson and Johnson. Mm, I don't think so. You probably be scooting. You look like you a scooter. So the nerve of you to be demanding that your future husband make millions is crazy to me. Ain't no millionaire finna be sitting there with your barn. You know what? I'm going in. I don't even know you like that. I'm going in. That's just ridiculous, baby. Come on now. People from New York, this is so random, but I really want to know. I love New York. I've never been there before, but I just love it so much. Is there any, like, favorite part of New York? Like, the best part of New York? Where if you from? from? That part that we know you that for real. Where you from? Or... Do you just feel like wherever you're from, that's the best part of New York? Yes. And then another thing. Is there any part of New York that has people with the strongest New York accent? Or do you all have, like, the same amount of strength in your accent? I don't even no, know if that makes know. sense. But it doesn't. <laughs> oh. I sound so dumb. But I'm saying, like, okay, if you're from that part of New York, your accent will be a little stronger. Like that. Like, or does everybody just have... The same strong New York accent. And another thing, do y'all have the same slang? No. Or is it different depending on which part of New York you're from? Brooklyn is the best borough. Let's get that out there. Back in the day, the only people from New York you could really tell that was from certain places was like Harlem. Because dudes from Harlem always used to say B. What's good, B? From Brooklyn, you always say son. And Queens, I don't know. I really, you know, sometimes we be treating Queens like the stepchild. I really can't judge that. I don't feel as though we have an accent anyway. I feel as though the rest of the world have an accent. 41 years old, I'm 5'6". Now that's wild. I'm going to be 41 this month. I am the same age as the Golden Girls. 41 years old, I'm 5'6". Now that's wild. I'm going to be 41 this month. I am the same as the Golden Girls. It's crazy how people look different back in the days to how they look now. The best way to see this is to go back and look at NBA players. Look at NBA players from the 70s. Look at NBA players from the 80s. These folks is talking about day 21, 22, looking 40. I used to watch the Golden Girls with my grandmother. I remember seeing this episode where she said she was 41. It didn't mean nothing to me back then because I was so young. To me, they all old. Everybody old. But look at 41 and 2024. 20, it's also seeping in to how they carry themselves because we have 41 year olds that are still out here acting like 20 year olds. Yeah, I'll talk to the bathroom quick. Give me one second. I'm going to the bathroom, though. Yeah, go ahead. You sure? Yeah. All right, yeah, 
so come to the bathroom real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, bro went to the bathroom while being on a date with a baddie. And she said this. Like. Like a 6.8. A 6.8? What? <laughs> um. What makes her a baddie? I'm curious. You want to meet up again? He cool. He cool. He can, he can be the homie. Chad, Chad, what you been saying, bro? 6.8? What are y'all talking about? You gave me 6.8. No, I didn't. Crazy. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know why they're saying Chad, that. say, oh, God, she said that. <laughs> Chad, say, oh, God, she said that. I don't want to judge. You know what I'm saying? I have my, my personal preferences. She's liable to go to Stroke City, but I don't think she a baddie. Okay, y'all see this. This is connected to the most amazing animal. You see this? That's what's connected to. Um, long story short, Tim was not supposed to have horns. With that being said, um, with Timothy's genetics, he really was not supposed to have any type of horns at all. So when he was a baby, he at first had these little nubs. You can, like, look back at my videos, and he has these tiny little nubs. So then, I mean, as y'all can see, he got older, and they just keep getting longer and bigger. It's something like one and in But I didn't think they were going to get this long. So my dad, he originally was like, you know, no, we'll leave him. It's going to be good for him so that he can do his job. And his job is to babysit these little boys. That they're kind of all scattered out right here. We have a couple right here. And he's basically their mentor and all that. And he's done an amazing job, I will say that. And he does not try to use his horns or anything on me. With the other guys, he'll push them around. He'll go in with little horns and all that. But when it comes to me, he really, like, navigates around it. It's, it's kind of neat. I love it. So everyone asks me, like, you got to dehorn him. He's going to hurt you. But Tim is not going to hurt me. I don't feel threatened or scared by him. There are times he'll kind of, like, throw his head. And I'm like, ah! You know, like, it gets me right in the rib. But he doesn't mean it in a... Like a harmful way. Moving to America has really opened my eyes. Because when I lived in Grenada, y'all see my flag? When I lived in Grenada, we had cows. And I don't think a cow has ever been that close to any one of my family members. Unless it was getting milked. This whole him touching you on the side of the rib with the horn, he would have been ground beef if he did that to my grandfather. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. I know it may be weird in this era of humanity and relationships, but if I see my friend post something on the internet, Especially my friends who are trying to build a platform, build a business, get a word out and then engagement, I understand, will increase their reach. I'm liking that. I'm sharing that. I'm commenting on that because that's my friend. Now, I don't feel obligated. I don't feel like nobody's pointing no gun and be like, you better like my post because I don't have friends like that. But because I'm a person who is consistently and actively engaged on this internet, I'm going to show up for my friend on this internet because it is weird to do life with people we texting we talking we meet up we hang together we see each other we be we intertwined okay yet i never engage with your post on social media i can fool with you personally but not publicly that ain't me <laughs> let's stop saying we don't see it because this algorithm knows <laughs> who we know and they're going to show it to us. And granted, I be seeing stuff late. I be seeing stuff weeks late, days late. But I be seeing it. Mm. I be seeing it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like other people be, be seeing it. Everybody now, if you don't mess with a person like that, I get it. But if this is a person you call friend and you just see their stuff and ignore it like it's not there. Or you feel like they got enough people who liking it or coming on down there. Nobody really understands this except for people who is trying to do music. You post your song, none of your friends will like it, none of your friends will share it. To be quite honest with you, nobody really believe in your dream until they start seeing progress. So if you have a friend who has always been sharing your stuff, liking your stuff, you know, talking about your stuff, and really being a supporter and a fan of you before you take off, before you get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, 
that's a friend for life. A few years ago, I used to post my videos on Facebook and ask people to share it. And then I realized, you know, I didn't like the way it made me feel. I would post my stuff, it would get zero views, zero shares. I didn't like the way that made me feel. So I stopped. I stopped posting it. The only thing I post now is... It's 4 o'clock. It's 4.28. You took an extra 28 minutes. Yep. You said yep? Mm -hmm. Bro, I told this man at 4 o'clock to get off the PlayStation. Man's waited till it's 4.28, and now he won't come down here talking about, it's 4 o'clock. And then it's you o'clock. I know it's me o'clock. Yes, I know. Um, Just go upstairs and change your clothes. Why well, I wear my work clothes. Your work clothes? Yep. That's your work clothes? Yep. I got to wear them every day you pick me up. Uh, you don't want to be comfortable? You got you know you gotta take that test, right? We gotta give you that test so you could um prepare for your actual test tomorrow. You ready for them words? Yeah. Oh word spell half. H A H A V. Okay, spell half. H A V E. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. Spell can. C A N. Okay, I like that. Spell tree. T-R-E-E. -E. Oh, you think you're doing something. Spell girl. Ah! G. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What? G what? G-L. Uh, yeah, that messed you up right there. Yeah. Take your ass upstairs. Go go change your clothes. I'll come give you the test just now. Go change your clothes. Get comfortable. I'll be up there just now. Like I was saying, um, I don't, I stopped asking people to share my stuff because I don't like the way it make me feel. So the only thing you might see me post, I might post my accomplishments. Y'all see what that say? Y'all see what that say? That's the last thing I posted. Presented to Overdose Lads for passing 100,000 subscribers. <laughs>